that we seem to be living would every now and then cast a shadow on the moon. And when it did, that shadow was always round. Now, the only shape we know of that always casts a round shadow is a ball. It's our curvature of the Earth horizon model of science. And this blue stuff is like the ocean. And this boat, well, it's like, like a boat. Anyway, watch <clears throat> as ships sail away. They don't disappear all at once. No, first, the bottom will disappear. See, the bottom of the ship is gone. Now we can see midway up, and then the whole thing disappears. Now, ships came back. They didn't fall off a table. So people realized that the world is curved. I mean, it's a big curve, but it's curved. So, the process of testing claims the world is flat, the world is round, is what we call science. Now, if you have a claim that can't be tested, that's what we call pseudoscience. The difference between pseudoscience and regular science is whether or not you can test it. The flat Earth, well, that didn't stand up to tests. The round Earth did. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. The world is round. I'm out of here. William Sanford, Bill Nye, right? Popular known as Bill Nye the Science Guy. is an American science educator, comedian, television presenter, actor, writer, and is definitely not a scientist. A former mechanical engineer, best known as host of Disney, of course, right? 666 Disney, PBS, uh, children's show, Bill Nye the Science Guy. He studied mechanical engineer at Cornell University. Where he took a class. Oh, there, there's his introduction to science. He took a class that was just having to be taught by Carl Sagan, and graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering in 1977. So he came up through Boeing. He started his career at Seattle Boeing, where among other things he started in training films. So he's already was an actor. This is where he came in. Okay, so Nye began his professional career. A professional entertainment career. So he, he look, they're telling you right now, this is, this is a professional entertainment career as an actor writer on a local sketch comedy, you know, it's like UHF, right? A television show in Seattle uh, called Almost Live. The host of the show was Ross Schaefer, suggested he do some scientific demonstrations in a six minute segment and take the nickname Got a Science Guy. <laughs> right? His other main re reoccurring role on Almost Live was uh, Speedwalker, uh, a speedwalking Seattle superhero. This looks like a job for... Speedwalker! physically fit superhero who fights crime while maintaining strict adherence to the regulations of the International Speedwalking Association. Heel toe, heel toe, Speedwalker. The segment's national popularity led to Nye hosting an educational program, Bill Nye the Science Guy, from 1993 to 1998. With its comedic overtones, the show became uh, popular as teaching aid schools in schools. Uh, when portraying the science guy, Bill wears a blue, uh, light blue lab coat and a bow tie. Just like he's still wearing, he's still playing the part. Sit down with Kyrie Irving to talk to him. What would you want to say? Uh, well, you guys, you can't put too much energy into this. And I understand later he backtracked and said, oh, I was just kidding-ish. But it just shows you... I have failed. Oh, I no. have failed. No, you haven't yes. failed. <laughs> As a science educator, 
Uh, so, but in the biggest picture, the that the Earth is round is a fantastic uh, thing to, uh, thing to evaluate. In other words, uh, from a skeptical standpoint, when you go outside, no matter where you live, pretty much you you look at it and the world looks flat. This looked flat to ancient people for sure, but then as time went on, and people uh, looked more carefully, they realized that the Earth casts a round shadow on the moon when there's an eclipse. And uh, the only shape that always casts a round shadow is uh, a sphere. Then they saw ships go over the horizon and come back. And so the evidence for the round Earth, which way do I go? Yeah, is overwhelming. Where would you get this picture were it not for the roundness of the Earth? Callie, how do people actually believe the Earth is flat? I'm stumped, Callie. I don't know how people believe that. We have classroom globes. We have spacecraft to take pictures. You can find documents from medieval times where people knew the world was round. Columbus, Christopher Columbus knew the world was round. He just sold Queen Isabel on the on the idea that he could get it done really fast sailing around the world.